Hi friends, if you remember I had promised you to show you one use case example of this dual rail power supply. So in this video I decided to show you the difference between a single supply op amp and a dual supply op amp. So stay tuned. All right, welcome to the test bench. As you can see, I have put everything necessary on the table. This is a transformer which is connected to a power supply. The power supply delivers plus 9 ground and minus 9 rails. This is the LM358 op amp which has configured in the voltage follower mode. So let's go to the oscilloscope. I have connected the channel 1 to the input and channel 2 to the output. Now I should configure the channels. Channel 1 AC coupling, bandwidth full, times 10 probe, correct. Channel 2 should be AC coupling, like this. Other parameters are correct. Let's go to the measure and add peak to peak value for both channels. So, channel 1, peak to peak. Let's select channel 2, peak to peak. And we have both values on the screen. So, let's configure. The waveform generator frequency lets me adjust it to 1 kHz and the uh, top edge level should be 500 mV and let's enter 0 volt for the low level, ok? So the output would be a sine wave waveform oscillating from 0 to half volt. If I turn on the output and bingo, winner winner chicken dinner. We can expect this from a single supply op amp where the input waveform starts from 0 volt also. Now I'm gonna check what happens when I enter negative value for the input low level and bingo. Do you see the cutoff? To solve this problem, I should include the negative rail for the up amp also. So I remove from 0 and connect to minus 9 volt and bingo, it's solved. Uh, if I enter 0 volt for the lowest level again, does it work with dual supply? And yes, why not? Again, in this condition, nothing happens if I come back to the ground because the input signal starts from 0 volt, ok? Now I'm gonna replace LM358 with a dual supply op amp, TL072. And let's see what happens. And yes, we see nothing, just a flat line. Although the input signal starts from 0 to 500 millivolt, but because this is a dual supply op amp, we see nothing on the output. So let me connect this to the negative rail and bingo it works. Now let me disconnect the wire from the negative rail and connect to the ground and go to the waveform generator and input a negative value for the low level. We can expect this. Again go to the negative rail and Bob's your uncle. So this shows you have to provide both positive and negative rays for a dual supply op amp. As a result, always check your project requirements and confirm that with the datasheet information. Catch you next time.